This video is on how to use the Potts Tonin function for the Electronic Precision Balance EPB10K. And we are balances.com. You can order the EPB10K from our website www.balances.com or scaleman.com. The EPB10K is an affordable compact digital scale offering a huge weighing capacity of 10,000 grams by a tenth of a gram readability. There are also two other models in this series. There's the EPB6K and EPB3K, and these offer 6,000 and 3,000 grams weighing capacity, respectively, and all three models have readability to a tenth of a gram. This demonstration that we're showing on the EPB-10K would be the exact same for the 3 or 6K. The EPB-10K is our number one seller since the price difference between the models is not much. To start the parts counting feature, you want to have your scale powered up and it should display 0.0. .0. So you can hit the 0 button. <clears throat> to get into the parts counting mode, you want to press the PCS key, standing for parts counting. And when you press the button, you'll see P is equal to 10. This means to place 10 pieces of parts that you wish to count on the scale to determine the average piece weight. We don't want to use a sample count of 10 pieces since a larger sample size will give us better counting accuracy due to variation in the weight of each part. Parts can weigh differently because of dirt and other residues like oil or other contaminants. Some parts might have metal burrs, others might retain moisture. Other issues for varying weights is the part itself might be manufactured with a very broad tolerance. The larger the sample size, the better representative you will get for an average piece weight and giving you the most accurate count. So to change the sample size, you want to press the units key. And when we press it, you'll see it says P is equal to 20. That means 20 parts. P is equal to 50, 50 parts. P is equal to 100, which is 100 parts. And if we press it again, we're going to go back to parts is equal to 10. So we want to select parts is equal to 50. Once you've selected the sample size that you want to use um, as a reference to determine your average piece weight, you want to hand count the parts and place them on the platform. So we're going to use in this demonstration standard paper clips that we purchased from Staples and I've hand counted 50 paper clips and so I'm going to place them on the weigh-in platform. Once the scale is stabilized in the lower left hand corner you'll see this little I figure and that means that you have uh, stabilization. You want to press the PCS and you'll notice it now says 50, and it's going to say pieces there. If you look at the display, over here it says PCS. So we have 50 pieces. And you can see if we remove a part, there's one paper clip, there's another paper clip, there's another paper clip. The response is very fast. And if I drop a paper clip on, there's one, two, and there's a third one. So this is the parts counted feature of the uh, EPB-10K. Now, um, I wanted to show you some other ways you can count parts with this scale or other, other samples. So if you wanted to, you could actually, uh, instead of picking all these parts all by hand, um, we can use a container. And so, let me show you how to do that. So what we want to do, we could have a container. 
like so. And I'm just going to first take all these parts off. And you can see if you don't have a container, how cumbersome it is. Plus the paper clips can fall off. So I don't recommend just throwing the pots right on the platform. It takes too much time. So what we could do is we could put on a nice dish. And by pressing the zero key, we could tear out that weight value. And now these are the 50 paper clips that I just removed. And there you go. So you could zero it out. Now, I have another box of paper clips here. And there's a hundred in here. And I did hand count each one just to make sure that there was a hundred pieces. And you'll see if I pour these in. It's right on the money. Now, um, paper clips weigh about uh, four tenths of a gram. And uh, I always like to recommend for a counting skill, you want four to five uh, divisions. Your lightest part should be at least four to five divisions. So really for the EPB 10K, um, I'm recommending that your smallest part weigh between 0.4 to 0.5 grams. Um, anything smaller than that, you're going to have some variations or you're not going to have very accurate counts. The EPB um, is an outstanding value. It does have a nice large weighing platform and I also wanted to show you that. So um, if I wanted to weigh a pile of blister pads, pills, I could tear out a container. So. The scale has now um, stored the value for the paper clips. If I want to change that, if I want to get something altogether different, what I can do, we'll say now I want to uh, weigh blister pads. I can put on a large container like this. And what I can do is zero out the weight of that container. Once again, I'm going to press the PCS to get into the parts counted mode. And this time, we can use uh, the sample size. You can see the default is 10 parts. And what I want to use is instead, uh, we'll go to 20 parts. And so I have these blister pats here that somebody had sent in to us, and they wanted to count them. And so there's 10 here. And there's 10 here. And so to store the average piece weight, and it's, we've already subtracted out the weight of the container, we wait for that stabilization in the lower left-hand corner, and then we're going to press the PCS, and it stores 20. And we can drop in the one at a time. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, another one, two, three. You can see how accurate and how fast this counting scale is all together. So the um, E the uh, EPB series offers a nice big large weighing platform and then the display is on an angle so you could put a container on this and still be able to see it. Uh, the EPB is made in China, no different than other comparable models on the market like the AND EJ and EK series is made in Korea, the AHO Scout and the Atom Equipment HCB series, those are made in China. Uh, the EPB is loaded with value with lots of features and we'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to purchase any of the EPB series visit either balances.com or scaleman.com and simply put in the search box EPB 10k and it will come up. If you like this video please consider giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel and YouTube will notify you when we add new videos. We also have additional videos on the EPB series showing additional functions and overall features that the scale offers. Thank you for watching.